Well, uh, some frequent mistakes. You've just uh, stolen the title of my most popular talk I ever give, which is Five Common Mistakes in Grain Marketing, and I'll just lay them out for you. Uh, one is the reluctance towards pre-harvest pricing, the reluctance to price grain before harvest. And uh, unfortunately, here in 2013, uh, producers, after the last couple of years, stepped back from pre-harvest pricing, and this is the year we needed it. A second mistake is uh, uh, not understanding basis, uh, how your local price relates to the Board of Trade price for corn, soybeans, wheat, etc. Uh, another mistake is lack of an exit plan. I'll kind of refer to that today. People have grain in the bin and they don't know what price they're looking for and I think you have to have a price objective. Uh, another mistake revolves around uh, not understanding the nature of carrying charges. Uh, price differences between the December, the March, and the May futures. I won't bore you with the details there, but it's very important. And finally, I talk about the mistake, and here again we've got some people I'll talk to today here. Holding grain in storage too long, and why I speak of the 11th commandment of grain marketing, which is thou shall not hold cash grain in the bin, after July 1 and of course uh, the price action of July in July particularly in the corn market is a good reminder of why we shouldn't do that.